Hey Leo, it's Chaos from Chaos and the Divine Feminine. And oh, sorry, I don't like that. Um, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, all my I do do personal readings. All my information is going to be in the description. Uh, if you're interested in, in a personal reading, please email me first so that we can arrange something. I also have my cash app listed if anybody wants to make a donation to the channel. That will be put towards more um, decks and protection items, protection candles, Palo Santo, Sage, all of that. So, yes, please feel free. And uh, sorry, I was supposed to start doing more readings last weekend, but my body is going through like a major change right now. So I've been completely drained. Like I slept all night last night. I came home today and around 10, I was like, oh, fuck this. Hell no. I had to, I slept so damn hard. It was some good ass sleep and I still feel a little crazy right now, but it's going to be all right. It's gonna be all right. Um, oh, ten of cups. I already see ten of cups. This is gonna be a general reading for uh, Leo. I'm a Leo. I was born on Lionsgate. Um, also, yes, please subscribe because I will be. I have so many ideas of different types of readings I'm planning on doing, and I'm probably gonna start doing those next month because I do need to order some more decks. There are a few decks that I really, really want. So, um, yeah. So stay tuned. Definitely subscribe. And I think that we'll have a lot of fun on this channel because I got a lot of good ideas. Okay, let's see. Spirit. Uh, spirit guides. Ascendant Masters, please. Give me a general. What's the general energy of Leo's right now? I saw the sun card, but it didn't come out. It tried to flip, but it went right back in. So that's already us. Okay. Oh, let me move this. Let's move this here, this here. Open this. Um. Wait, I want to get to it. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay, that's the king is... All right, I already see... <laughs> this is some bullshit. Um, don't do that. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead with... So, it looks like you're going to leave this... Um, there is a king of swords here. We have the death in reverse. The magician in reverse. Um, the six of wands. The five of cups. Okay. Anyways. Spirit be trying to put my business. No. But anyway. Okay. So it looks like somebody. There's a king of swords that's, that's grieving over. A possible ending we have the death card in reverse though so hmm. tower at the bottom clarify the death in reverse please Ooh. the devil okay yep makes sense I see somebody not wanting to let you go Someone that you've mo you're moving past, moving away from, does not want to let you go. But okay, you also have a King of Cups here. So King of Cups. yeah, okay. The King of Cups is a new is a new person that you're dealing with. It looks like, okay, so um, we got the Magician in reverse. This person, this King of Swords probably was doing some work, some spell work and shit. Um, we got the Seven of Pentacles. They're going back and 
rethinking what they lost. Someone is in hermit mode. Someone, someone is digging deep. Someone is going through a spiritual awakening, for sure. It looked like somebody might be getting their ass whooped by spirit. Clarify that. Okay. Yep. Yeah, somebody is getting their ass whooped. Someone might have been juggling. There's a lot of wands coming out. So this might involve somebody with air in their chart. What was that? Seven. Mm. Okay. I see somebody was juggling you. You stood your ground. You was trying to work with this person and they were like just moving really, really slow with an offer. The Hierophant. The strength. Well, oh, I see an offer coming in and you ain't going to be with it. Someone's watching you like mm -mm. someone's gonna come in like they're ready to work hard for this um yeah somebody finna try i don't know like it would be up to you no, nah, uh, no, you're gonna walk away. Oh, you gotta, you're gonna walk away. You're gonna walk into some wish fulfillment. And I don't think it's gonna be this person because this person is a liar. This person lies a lot. This is somebody that lies a lot. This could be a friend, an ex lover. See? Sneaky lying, stalking. Somebody's gonna come. You know what that is, but they're going to, they're going to come with the offer, but they're going to be left out in the cold. Whoever this wish fulfillment is going to be, I can see y'all, um, really building together. Now this King of Pentacles can also be just a materialistic person, but, oh yeah. Okay. You know what? I, I don't know why I thought that was the queen of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely walking away from somebody that only sees material things. They don't really care about love. They only care about status and materialistic things. And you ain't with it. So you, yeah, you're going to just remain single and continue to flourish and prosper. And this person is going to have to watch from the outside. Mm -hmm. You have, your cup's going to be overflowing with... Complete wish fulfillment. Everything that you, everything that you've wanted, everything that you've been manifesting, that cup is gonna overflow. You got the sun at the bottom. You're going through major changes. But this damn King of Swords, this Knight of Pentacles, player ass, slow moving ass person, keep coming out, talking about. I want to work for this. I want to work for this. I love you. I just want to be with you. Meanwhile, they really stabbing your ass in the back. Do with that what you will. I think that um, we already went through the retrograde. So I feel like there could have been tests. I think that this is going to be another test, but not really a test. This is really... Just spirit sending some shit your way just to see what you're going to do, even though they know you what you're going to do, even though they know you ain't fucking with it no more. There's still, you know, just one last little go around just to just to make just try and catch you slipping like, eh, didn't get me, didn't get me. Let's see. 
I'm going to let spirit clarify whatever card they want to clarify. Hold on. I'm just shuffle and see where the card lands. Okay. Somebody trying to get you pregnant. Whoever this is. Mature woman, great fortune. Um, okay, so this King of Swords, this new this new thing that you got going on, the coffin landed at sideways on it. So I don't see an ending. I think maybe like a pause is happening. High honor marriage message. Yeah, it's the same story. Somebody, somebody's, somebody want to marry you. Somebody's coming with a message, but this judic uh, adjudication card, I feel like you're gonna, um, you're the final judge and jury. You're gonna make that decision. You're, you're, you're the one who holds the power in this situation to stay or walk away. This situation is all dependent on what you choose. Yes, there's so, someone is in their mind about this shit. Someone is living in a prison in their head, a mental prison. Sudden wealth, okay. What else, spirit? Ooh. Change. That landed on this King of Swords change. Give me more about the change, spirit. Okay, maybe that's the change. Maybe, um, let's see. False person, yep. Okay, so this change. There, this is something that this King of Swords isn't gonna expect. They didn't, they never expected you to walk away turn your back on them, or have your own mind. This this is a false person. Like I said, this is somebody that's going to stab you in the back, fuck you over, leave you out. You got love coming, though. The sun is at the bottom of the deck. Path, pathway. Main female. Yeah, whoever, whoever's trying to manifest this new beginning with you, it is not working. Spirit said, at, at. no ma'am or no sir. Toil and labor. Imprisonment comes out again. Okay, let's see if we can get some messages. I want message. Okay, first let's get. Let me move these a little bit. I want messages from this King of Cups first. Let's see what this King of Cups is feeling about you. Um, Leo, this new relationship that's kind of at a little bit of a standstill. I also feel like whatever this is, because the King of Swords, I was saying, looked like they were sending energy your way to put blocks in your love life. That might be why this new person is kind of like, why things are kind of at a standstill. Things might be a little weird right now with this new person, and it's causing you a little bit of of uh confusion and anxiety maybe i don't know let's see can i get a message from this king of cups spirit how do they feel about leo king of cups please there uh spirit let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture okay now what about this king of swords spirit
It is safe for you to love, open your heart, and give and receive highest energy. Free yourself. Take time to take back control of your life. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay, so yeah, just let go and open your heart. You'll be all right. Um, try sleeping with some heart chakra. Oh, shit. Try sleeping with some heart chakra uh, music, meditation music on to help open your heart back up because this king of swords looked like they really was working. And yeah, this king of swords was really trying to send some bad juju your way. And not only that, you probably also have your heart kind of closed because you're just not trusting of love right now after everything that you've been through. See, oh, Queen of Swords, yep. Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you standing your ground, you moving on from this person. You, The feelings are no longer mutual. You got an emperor at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords, the truth is gonna come out. Um, the end of conflict and chaos, the Empress, the Knight of Swords. So you got fast, you have, you have somebody moving in fast with some communication, King of Wands. You might get pregnant or get somebody pregnant. Somebody is going to, um. Somebody is going to make a solid offer to you. This I feel like it's this emperor. They're going to make a solid offer that's that can lead to marriage, okay? It looks like you have really good things coming your way. Nine of Pentacles. Yep. You stand in your ground. I feel like y'all are single right now. Even though y'all have this new person you're dealing with, you're technically not in a relationship yet. Yeah, you you you're releasing burdens that you've had. I like to, okay, I like this. Okay. So you got the full energy, the chariot, the eight of cups, the nine of cups, the nine of swords. Okay, so it, you got some good stuff. <clears throat> it looks like you took the time to really grow internally and understand what it is that you want and what it is that you expect and what it is that you are no longer going to accept from certain situations and certain people. This is good. That, that Yeah, this is good. This You're, you're going to get what you want. And this person, whoever this person is, this other person, they're gonna be, they're gonna be fucked up about it. I suggest you, yep, the high priestess. Look at that, at the bottom of the deck. You're not accepting this offer. You're moving on to your ten of pentacles. You might even, oh. <laughs> you might, you, okay, I was about to say you might even be birthing new ideas with this uh, Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, look what's under the Ace of Pentacles and look what's under the uh, Two of Cups. What did I say? Okay, the uh, end of, to all this sneaky ass third party shit. The world, okay. Yeah, y'all gonna be okay. And then I see the chariot. I saw the chariot under there somewhere. It peeked out at me. You are moving forward and on to good things. Like, you got good stuff coming. You got good stuff coming. 
you released some old shit this last Mercury retrograde. So this is telling me that you this you did exactly what you needed to do this work Mercury retrograde. This last retrograde was so freaking weird. Like the energy was all fucked up. Nothing has been working. My TV stopped working. My fire stick stopped working. I had to get a new fire stick. My phone has been tripping really bad. Just electronics have been really weird around me. No electronics have been working around me this entire retrograde. Just weird stuff. And I've had a lot of weird occurrences, like weird offers come through from people like, y'all, I had a weird ass shaman, like, that was weird. Our very first conversation, he wanted me to um, agree to have him move out here, buy some land and build a house and move me and my kid. I'm like, I don't know you. I don't even know your real name. I just know the name that you have. Like, on what? And yeah, he's like, it shouldn't matter. My soul knows you. This is what's good. Uh, but I got kids. You could be. Just a lot of weird stuff. So, yes, tell me in the comments. I know that I am not the only one that had a whole bunch of weird shit happen this Mercury retrograde. Tell, drop in the comments. Tell me what weird shit happened. Like, I, yeah, you know, I wish I can go live on here. I can't go live yet because my channel is not big enough yet. But I'm manifesting that. We're going to get a thousand subscribers here really soon. Really soon. I'm a, I'm a, look. And as soon as I... I wish that I can go live like now because that would be a fun little live talking about this weird ass Mercury retrograde we just got through and just hearing everybody's stories. That would be fun. That really would because the shit, that would be pure comedy. The shit just was weird. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to uh, leave this here. Y'all got good shit coming. And I feel like everybody keeps saying that um, this new, this next full moon Tomorrow is going to bring in some, a lot of shit. Like the manifestation is going to start popping. Okay. So get ready, get ready, get ready, be ready. So you don't have to get ready. Okay. Love you, Leo.